Hello, this is Sal. In today's video, we will be talking about the routing protocol uh, RIP, routing information protocol uh, version 2. And uh, I will mention a tip or two here. It Maybe it will be helpful uh, in your CCNA exam and in real life. And please, if you like this video, please uh, share it and uh, subscribe to my channel and give me the thumb up. Now, I'll ask a question. When you hear somebody is saying, like, RIP version 2 is a classless a protocol, what does it mean? What does it mean that when you configure this protocol on the router, on the, the network device, and it asks only for just the network? So here, it is asking you to enter the you. Uh, configured rep on the router like router uh, rep and then specify what version version 2 version 1 and then it's asking you next to enter the network so you enter the network without the subnet mask that's why it's a classless it will take the, the the ip address without the subnet mask because it will it will look at the ip address and say okay this is 192.168.1.0 this means uh, slash 24 sounds good and then it will go to the other network you entered as 10.1.1.0 and will say okay this is slash 8 but we configured it on the interface as slash 30 now let us assume that you forgot to enter this command as no auto summary when you configure rip version 2 on the routers so we have here class a in this side class C and here class A and maybe for example here class B and with different uh, subnet masks uh, so if whenever you enter this command no auto summary like you are telling the protocol rip version 2 as a protocol please I enter this IP address and it looks like it is uh, class A but the subnet mask is slash 30. Go back to the interface and look at the subnet mask I entered there. This is what I, my, uh, the subnet mask for this interface. But if you forget, and so it happened to me, you know, I was working on a lab and uh, everything was uh, according uh, uh, the way how I learned how to configure RIP version 2 and when I try to connect or to ping from one side of the network to the other and I wasn't able to and then my instructor told me did you remember to enter this command no auto summary so I, I did and everything was great from there so I'll, I'll read you something here classless means when you configure the interface you don't have to configure also the subnet mask of the interface or the inverse subnet mask uh, which is the wildcard subnet mask. Classful means the opposite, that you enter the IP address of the interface with its subnet mask, or the inverse subnet mask, which is the, the wildcard. Routing protocols such as RIP version 2, OSPF, ISIS, and EIGRP support route summarization based on subnet addresses, but classful routing protocols such as RIP version 2 one and e uh, sorry igrp automatically summarize routes on the class for network boundary and do not support summarization on any other bit boundaries auto summarization is a feature which allows routing information protocol rep to summarize its routes to their classful networks automatically now let us uh, here on this network I configure just the uh, interfaces for router 1, router 2 and router 3 and uh, here if you go to router 1 uh, enable uh, show IP interface brief and showing us here for this interface on gigabit ethernet 000 with this IP address and on the serial interface with this IP address. And if 
no protocol is configured yet. When I run the command show IP protocols, it's showing us nothing. And also the show IP route. Here it's showing us just the connected and local routes in the routing table. Just the connected and the local routes. And the same goes for router 2 and router 3. So now let's dive in and configure rep. So here on router 1, configure terminal, router, rep, a version. We have uh, two options, either version 1 or 2. We want version 2 because it is rep version 2. Network, the network of 192.168.1.0 and the other network, which is 10.1.1.0. But here we have the 10.1.1.0 is a slash theory, which is 255.255.255.252. Enter. And not to forget this really important command, which is no auto summary. Now, and from here, let me run this command show IP uh, protocol. It is showing us we are using RIP and here it's telling us for sending and receiving on the interface of gig gigabit Ethernet 00, we are sending using version 2, receiving version 2 and the same on the serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 and the route, we are doing, running the routing for these two networks, 10.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. <coughs> now, show IP route. It's still not showing us anything here because we still want to configure rep version 2 on router 2. So, on router 2, enable, configure terminal, router, rep version 2 network, the network of 10.1.1.0 and the other network of 10.2.2.0 sorry about that and no auto summary now let me run this command here show IP rep database With the auto summary, this is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 is connected via this interface. Then that one, oh sorry, here. Then that one, that one, that one, this interface. That this network connected to the other network with uh, through this interface on the serial 0 slash 1 slash 0. Now let's do the same on router 3. Enable. Configure terminal. Router. Rep. Version 2. Network of uh, 10.2.2.0 and the other network of 8.8.8.0 no auto summary let's see now if we can run uh, uh, ping from pc1 here the server the dns server ping 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. And from PC2, let me open the web browser now, this time for the DNS server of 8.8.8.8, and we are able to. So we are successfully and we are able to configure 
Rev version 2 on this network. Now, uh, let us make sure that also the switch 1 can ping the DNS server on switch 1. What do we have on switch 1 configured so far? Uh, enable, show IP interface in brief. So IP interface brief. Oh, sorry about that. I will just expand it a little bit here. Showing us nothing is configured here, but we will enable the uh, VLAN 1 in configure terminal, VLAN 1, no shut, IP address of 192.168.1.1. Two five five at two five five at two five five zero. No shot. Exit. Now show IP route on the switch. It's showing us no default gateway is set, and IP routing is not configured. So let us configure the gateway for switch one. Configure terminal. IP default. Gateway, the gateway of 192.168.1.1, which is this interface here of gig 000. Exit. Let's see if I'm ping the Diana server. Yes, it can. And trace route to the Diana server. Dot 8. Yes, we can. And uh, let's do the same on uh, switch one, uh, switch two. Oh, before that, I want to see show IP interface brief. What is configured so far? Just VLAN one. And can it ping? Just uh, now from PC1, of course, it will be able to ping uh, the server. So I'll see if we can ping Cisco by the name. Cisco. And yes, we can. I hope you learned something, uh, a tip or two, in this video today when I explained RIP. And I, I hope uh, uh, you will be. Uh, it will be helpful for your uh, CCNA exam and in the real life when you work as a network admin. Please, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and give me the thumb up and share the video, please. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.